What's up, Wolfpack fam? It's your boy. Keep back at it again. Hope you're doing well. Continuing our journey of gimme, gimme, gimme. We are on series two. Uh, you know, they obviously we're creeping up. We soon will be on series three. But uh, just want to say thank you guys for checking out the content. If you're enjoying it, like, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss a beat. Snacks not included. Let's go. Gimme, gimme journey starts right now. Snacks not included, baby. Let's get it. Passage, Kentish Town. Oh, hopping. Oh, ah, oh, look at you, and you're lovely, and you're little. You're like a little giant of dolly, oh. Wally. Get in, you slag! Oh, my <laughs> that guy looks right. familiar. I've got a sister with special needs. <laughs> <laughs> I think it wasn't Mr. Bean, man. Yeah. Yeah, they're homosexuals. You don't mind, do you? No. Um, they're harmless. Oh, look, she collects pictures. Do you collect pictures? No, they're me twins. Pearl and Dean. <laughs> He's crazy. Who's that? I don't know, I don't know. I'm not the same. <laughs> Oi, trade. <laughs> Keep it shut. <laughs> Dish town. Six and nine, baby. Mm. All right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? Nothing, 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 nothing. Oh, was she having a bad dream? Oh, I think I still am. I think I still am. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Tongue wants to say hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I haven't brushed my teeth yet. Oh, don't worry about that, Tom. I did it whilst you were asleep. You had a bit of spam in your molars. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Would you get dressed and leave, please? I've got to go and get the post. Damn it. What? Uh, nothing urgent, just some bills. That... Give me that. Really? Would you please get dressed and get out? I've got a very important audition to get to. What's the audition for? Um... The Charlotte Church experience. <laughs> There's nothing about this in your file of facts. I never said you could look in that. Oh, I love it when you get angry. Oh. <laughs> Holy crap. To me. Oh, will you stop picking your nose? That's absolutely disgusting. Me last boyfriend used to hate me doing that as well. Don't pick your nose, your head will cave in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> get out, please, because I've got to get dressed, all right? You don't get the memo. What are you staring at? Who, who got out of bed the wrong side this morning? Uh, Tom. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up yourself. God. Yeah, Tom. What? We just had our first row. <laughs> <laughs> They're mine. I'm wearing your slippers. <laughs> They're quite a snug fit, actually. If we ever split up, can I keep them? <laughs> now, you've really got to get out. That'll be my errant lover who's heard that we're having an affair and he's come around baying for your blood. Quickly, jump out of the window. Jump uh, out. Yeah. <laughs> You told me last night you hadn't had a relationship since 1992. Well, he bears a very long grudge. <laughs> <laughs> Leave this to me. I'm a security guard. Okay. That's a bloody lad, Lee. Linda, I think I'd better deal with this. Get over it, pal. It was seven years ago. He's mine now. I I'm so sorry. I, I, I was looking for Beryl. Oh, so that's your little nickname for him, is it? Very imaginative. <laughs> Oi, wanker, Beryl lives upstairs. Get out of it. Oi. Hi. Hi. Get down. Get down. Get down. And don't. 
don't do it again. Yes, Mistress Beryl. Wow! <laughs> Bad boy. Oh, hi, Linda. Uh, are you paying for it? <laughs> Is that really naughty? Stay there. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> you paid for it. Oh. Naughty, naughty. <gasps> I'm hiding. Oh, oh, shut up. God, my heart. Oh, yeah. I think Beryl's gone back on the game. <laughs> Remind me, if I ever get as big as her, never to wear skin tight rubber. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you hiding from? The trade. Well, I mean, I call him trade. I mean, trade tends to conjure up images of scaffolders in hard hats or men who can name all the players in Man United, not some gormless half wit with the sex appeal of a cyclops. <laughs> yeah, my Auntie Ivy was a cyclops. <laughs> or Auntie I, as we used to call her. <laughs> can never tell if she was winking or blinking, poor cat. <laughs> Here. Did we have a good time last night? That was good. Don't you remember anything? <laughs> I do remember one Christmas when Daddy laughed because all I got was a pencil sharpener. <laughs> no, about last night, you prattling pig. <laughs> You're all over that poor taxi driver like a rash. Kept going on about how us birds should stick together. Then you started singing an impromptu version of Only Women Bleed. <laughs> and you were so pissed you kept forgetting the words. So it was Only Women... What women do again? <laughs> when you dragged her back here for some taquita slammers. Well, that's bollocks. Wow. I don't do women friends, do I? <laughs> they just get bitter because of me looks. <laughs> <laughs> now, you get out. I want to get back to bed. No, I've got to wait till he's gone. Oh, oh good looks, baby. What if he doesn't go home? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go wee-wee. <laughs> My bladder will stretch to the size of a space hopper. <laughs> British are crap at one night stands. They're so depressed about sex. Repress. God, the amount of times I've woken up with some bloke screaming, What have I done? What have I done? <laughs> so, was he any good? Did he move your earth? It was a bit toothy. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you've had a bit of filth. I ain't had it in weeks. Oh, shit. Next bloke I'll meet's gonna need a pickaxe and a Davy van to break his way in. <laughs> Let him in. I don't hear any noises. Perhaps he's gone already. I should be okay. fearless, shouldn't I? What would David Jason do in a position like this? Because hmm? he's rather fearless, isn't he, in a touch of frost? Oh, I love that. Oh. Bell boy. Rodney, you plonker. <laughs> Bell boy, baby. Do you know what? That's the only thing with homos in that I actually like. Homos? <laughs> Homos? David Jason doesn't play homos. <laughs> Del Boy and Rodney, they've been living together for years. <laughs> <laughs> they are brothers. Look, Tom, just cos you woke up with a monster, don't take it out on me. You made your bed, mate. Oh, I give up. Now lie in it. <laughs> she watched the wrong show, guys. <laughs> oh, oh low nurse. Cheeky bitch, how long have you been there? Oh, night. God, what time is it? Oh, get out, lying there with all your bits hanging out. Wow, we. Oh. They had a good time. Oh, Tansy Twat was in my bed on the lawn. <laughs> Can you believe that? Oh, wow. Were well, you having a little sleepover? Oh. <laughs> The girls at my school did that. Yeah. I used to love them. <laughs> Sitting there talking about purdy cuts and makeup. Tom, Tom, how's my haircut looking? Tom, Tom, why didn't the boys dance at the school disco? Tom, Tom, why are you wearing Beverly's bra? Well, because. <laughs> <laughs> you sad git. <laughs> you should have been outside knocking a ball about and talking about wanking. <laughs> <laughs> I never liked sleepovers. And I think my feelings were known on the subject because I was never invited to any, which was great. <laughs> so, where's the vile Except. trade? He's gone, isn't that marvellous? Oh, I wish she'd do the same. Hurry up! I want to go back to bed! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'm doing a mail-out. I'm warning everyone in the business that I'm on television this Sunday night. Listen to this, listen. It is with the greatest of pleasures that I, Thomas Farrell, playing age range 16 to 49, 
<laughs> announce my appearance on the top-rated BBC show Songs of Praise. Please note that during To Be a Pilgrim, I get three close-ups and look straight into camera. <laughs> when did you do that? Well, do you remember when I saw that film crew by Our Ladies by the Traffic Lights? Well, I got chatting to the best boy and he'd said he'd slip me in the back way while no one was looking. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's good. <laughs> And I Why photocopied you... all my reviews from my Amdram days. And also, I'm sending in two photographs. Look, oh. one sort of um, matinee idly, you That's see, nice. like that. And then this one's more sort of character based, Ooh. like that. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so that's that. Um, okay. For the attention of Sir Richard Attenborough. <laughs> cool, about bloody time. Hiya. Uh, anyone mind if I fly that kettle on? I'm absolutely parched. You help yourself, Maddie. Did you sleep well? After a fashion. <laughs> Is it all right if I phone me fella? Oh, that poor man having to put up with the likes of you, you dirty stop out. <laughs> Does he hit ya? No. Why not? Oh, dear. Hey, there's a perfectly good phone box down the end of the road, bloody northerners. <laughs> you can phone whoever you want, Maddie. Oh, talk me. it. Did you have a good time with Neville last night, Tom? Oh, that was his name, was it? Neville. Well, let me tell you, having sex with Neville was rather like sitting in a Robin Reliant on the M6 in the pouring rain, listening to Gardner's Question Time. <laughs> and not just any old Gardner's Question Time, actually. Tom. Shut up. It was the sort of Gardner's Question Time <laughs> when they're discussing the pros and cons of a rather irksome labelia from darkest Peru. Tom. I said, shut up. <laughs> you see, the problem with him was that he wasn't a very big boy. Not very much to look at in the underwear department. <laughs> in fact, it put me in mind of a walnut whip. <laughs> So, no, having sex with, um, um, what was his name again? Neville. Neville, thank you very much. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> um, hello. I picked some of these, I'll, I'll put them in the vase. No, not that one, that's tiny, you need a bigger one. <laughs> 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 I'm going. Oh, his mobile's off. Wow. Can I phone me mate? Oh, Linda, give us a ciggy. No! <laughs> you should be on the stage, you. You're dead funny. Get off! <laughs> yes. yeah, thanks, but already am. Oh, hang on, what's this? What's this? However, for me, the low point in salad days was Thomas Farrell's spring onion, which brought tears to my eyes. I should say high point, surely. <laughs> right, Linda, would you uh, turn and face me, please? Tongue out. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hiya, Trace, it's me, love. Listen, I have got some earth-shattering gossip. Last night, right, guess what I did? I had sex with a woman. <laughs> wow -wee. Can you believe that? No, I enjoyed it. It was this woman I picked up in my cab. Linda, they call her. Yeah. <laughs> Look, listen, I've got to go. The tea's ready. Yeah, I'm still round her gaff. I'll call you later. Now, anyone take sugar? <laughs> Linda, sugar. No, don't put nothing in me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back to bed. <laughs> don't put nothing in me. She is stressed as fuck. <laughs> Rub it in, Tom. I love smoking me. <laughs> Mummy gave me my first ciggy when I was ten, and I've never looked back. Everything okay, Lindy? Well, I must say, this has come out of the blue, hasn't it? Tom, you know I smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a lesbian, gay and transgendered hug, will you? <sighs> Get off me! One has to be careful when one is coming out. If I had my time over again, I don't think I'd have chosen to tell my parents on top of the Blackpool Tower. <laughs> <laughs> Very windy, had to do a lot of shouting. <laughs> a couple of security guards had a bloody good chortle. <laughs> and a school party. And a group of elderly monks seemed quite interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like one of them experimental bunny rabbits. You know, stuck in a lavatory with lipstick on. <laughs> I feel abused. I wouldn't mind, but no-one was watching. <laughs> well, now I know why you were always so vile about dykes. Cos you were in that great Egyptian river. Denial. 
<laughs> nice one. Tom, you slept with a bird. Does that make you a lesbian? No. I mean, look at me posters. I love men. <gasps> Maybe you're bisexual. Oh, God, nobody's safe. <laughs> <laughs> no such thing as bisexual. It's just greediness. <laughs> Tom, I can't be a dyke. I won the prize in Ballstall for girl least likely to wear dungarees. <laughs> But, Linda, you could come on the Gay Pride March with me. No, I can't do marching. I got thrown out of the majorettes from misuse of me baton. Uh, <laughs> come on, Lindy. We're here. Lindy's queer. Get used to her. <laughs> Tom, how can I be a dyke? I mean, look at me. I'm gorgeous. <laughs> gorgeous. Loads of letters are gorgeous, Lindy. Look at... <laughs> Velma from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've organised a little trip to a queer cafe. Oh, no, we can't. We can't leave your girlfriend here alone. Don't call her that! Oh, I know, we'll take your girlfriend with us. Yes. Yeah. Maddie, Maddie! Scooby-Dooby-Doo. <laughs> Mummy! <laughs> Mummy! <laughs> I want my mummy! <laughs> Maddie, hi. Listen. I just can't tell you how empowering I'm finding it being in a queer-only space, so bless you. <laughs> Is Linda all right, though? She seems a bit off with me. Oh, no, 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 she's like that with everybody. Now, <laughs> would you like to join us for a spot of lunch at a little leisure taverna I know in Clerkenwell? <laughs> <laughs> or have you eaten enough off the table of love? <laughs> Last night was brilliant. I don't know what our Phil's been doing wrong all these years, but Linda was just fantastic. <laughs> Talk about Turbo Tongue. Hold on. I think she enjoyed herself. Mind you, I felt a bit sorry for the neighbours. She's a bit of a howler, isn't she? <laughs> Don't you call me darling, I ain't your darling, I ain't nobody's darling. Have a to go, then? I think it's wise. <laughs> Look, about last night... <laughs> well, what I'm trying to say is... I just think you're amazing. <laughs> I married Arthur when I was 16 and pregnant, and he's the only person I've ever slept with till last night. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'd love to see you again. <laughs> Mate, I've been a bit silly, really, haven't I? <laughs> Broadcasting it to all and sundry. I've slept with a bird, like it's some kind of novelty. Whereas for you, it's a way of life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my I'm God. sorry. I hope you don't think I've been patronising. I'll be off. Or I can tell I've really upset you. <laughs> Look, if you ever change your mind... Oh <laughs> call a taxi. She's fabulous. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible time. She was so nice, wasn't she? She was like every nice nurse you've ever seen on Casualty. You know, the minute they get stabbed, you're crying your eyes out and you're yelling at the screen, not her, stab the other one! Stab the vile one! <laughs> God, one little mistake and I'm tarnished for life. Jeez, oh, I sniffed some glue when I was in the brownies. Does that make me a drug addict? No! <laughs> I wore an A-line skirt in the 70s. Does that mean I've got no taste now? No! Oh, I sleep with one woman and all of a sudden I'm branded a tennis player. <laughs> Well, just give me five minutes, then I'll whisk you off to some lovely bender hotspot. All right. I'm not going anywhere with you. I'll show you I'm not gay. I'll show that lot of ya. I'm going out. I suggest you get dressed first. <laughs> Should I call you a taxi? <laughs> oh, gay people are so funny. <laughs> She's in denial. Excuse me. Do you want to me? <laughs> <laughs> this episode's crazy. <laughs> Here. Off he 
but you're really gorgeous, right? Now, I know you might find this hard to believe, but I haven't had it for a while, so, uh, <laughs> you fancy a bit? Who no, doesn't? All right! Cut your hair on! <laughs> no, the old cow! <laughs> Bloody old cow. You, uh, looking for a lady? <laughs> See, I think you're really gorgeous, right? And, uh, I haven't had it in ages, so, uh, what say we step outside for a little bit of summertime loving? Hmm? That's enough, madam. Eh? Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, piss off you, you puffy homo! <laughs> <laughs> they think she's a hooker? Get in here now! <sighs> oh, you still here? You've been waiting ages. Uh -huh. I think I must have been an incredibly naughty boy. What do you think? Linda! I think I better go in. Keep your lips firmly shut and sit down. Bit of a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Oh, I see. You see a tone and you've just got to lower it, haven't you? It's been a funny 24 hours in the life of Linda La Hughes, hasn't it? I mean, first you try your hand at nightclub violence, and then you pull a penis-free cab driver. Tom, <laughs> could we just put that down to me being off me box? And then I get a phone call from Kentish Town Police Station informing me that Miss Linda La Hughes has been arrested for soliciting. Yeah, and like I said to them, I said, do I look like a solicitor? No! <laughs> No, you, no, you don't understand. And what do they do? What do they send me? A bloody solicitor. No. I said to them, I said, go on, arrest her. No, 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 no. <laughs> Soliciting is what prostitutes do. And as my solicitor said, I ain't no prosy because I didn't want paying. Oh. So, <laughs> just how thick are you? Well, we'll just sit here until I get an apology. What for? I've got let off. Yes. And in order to convince Neville to drop the ABH charge, I've had to agree for him coming round here for dinner tonight. <laughs> <laughs> that devil yes, that's, that's very funny, isn't it? Go on, laugh. Yes, a very sensible thing to do. Well, I think I'll change my mind. Yes, supper's off. I'll give Neville a ring. Then you'd go to court, wouldn't you? And you'd go, damn. <laughs> then you'd have to do your bird. Then you'd have to do loads of birds, wouldn't you? But you'd, you'd quite like that, wouldn't you? Yes. The bike of sea wing. <laughs> Always dropping your soap in the shower and calling yourself Larry. Yes. Oh, hello, hello, Neville. Neville. No, no, no. no, no. I'm sorry, Tom. Uh, sorry, I didn't quite hear that. I'm sorry, Tom. Sorry, a little bit louder, please. I'm oh, bloody sorry. All right, what more do you want? Well, you can prove it, can't you? You can finish my mail out. Oh, how many are there? Well, I've done five, so you've only got 495 to do, all right? <laughs> so you do letter, reviews, photographs, and then write down their names and addresses there. Oh, God, but I hate writing. Just do it. A lot of work, man. Tom, lazy guys, or no? Hello, Linda. Bloody old Bill, you nearly gave me an heart attack then. What you doing? I've got to go and be filthy with an MP in Westminster. <laughs> Apparently, there's great call for granny porn. <laughs> Why don't you go out the front door like normal people? Well, I've got a punter waiting there. I can't let him see me. That poor man, he's been there all day. Ah, uh, he wanted humiliation. He's getting it. <laughs> Wouldn't it be more humiliating if you went out the front door? Linda, I could eat you. Yeah, well, that's a bit of a sore point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, Beryl's good. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> Jokes about the handicap can be really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some more soup from my tureen? Well, is it again something weird, isn't it? No, it's just cauliflower. Oh no, <laughs> gives me terrible wind, cauliflower. <laughs> 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 that and chili con carne. <laughs> Hi. She's still not back. <laughs> That's a bit humiliating, isn't it? <laughs> I bet I could find you something to keep you occupied. Um, no offence, but I, I like my mistresses old. Well, I'm knocking 80. 
I just do a lot of exercise. <laughs> oh my God. Hurry up! Yes, mistress. Sorry, mistress. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if I'm going to be honest, my favourite food is the much maligned pilchard. <laughs> my ex-boyfriend used to say, knock a pilchard, knock a pal. <laughs> Classic quote. <laughs> no. I'm just going to go get my gas mask. Oh, Tom, you're drinking rather a lot tonight. Mm. Have you got a problem with the sauce? Shall we get you to a counsellor? I was rather hoping that by getting pissed you'd suddenly become attractive. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't go out with you if you was a bit of an alcoholic, Tom. Oh, really? Well, then, yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> Only kidding. I love your warts and all. <laughs> you can't have a relationship with me. You can't. I'm a very heavy smoker. I don't mind. Oh, God. Oh, God. You see, I couldn't light any naked flames around you. You'd blow the entire street up. Oh, give up, then. Why should I bloody give up? It's nothing to do with you. Tom, Tom, it's everything to do with me. I'm your boyfriend. You're not my bloody boyfriend. I wouldn't go out with you if you were the last woman on the planet. Oh, well, in that case, I don't want to have a relationship with you, thank you very much. I don't even want to sleep with you, so there. Thank God for that. Really? Why? I'm gorgeous. <laughs> I was a virgin till last night. Oh, were you? <laughs> Is it I've never been anyone's first time before. What was I like? Was I fantastic? Yeah, I expect I was pretty good, wasn't I? Do you like my body? What's your favourite bit? Um, apparently I've got fantastic deltoids. They've been written about in the cubicles at Charing Cross. Oh, God! <laughs> I wish you told me I was breaking you in. I would have stayed awake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. But I only haven't shared your ruminations about my, my body yet. <laughs> Forget it, Tom. It was never going to be. But hang on, how many people have you been out with with a birthmark with the same shape as Merthyr Tidville? <laughs> Who's that, guys? <laughs> Tom. It might have been my first time, so what do I know, but I just wanted to say, you're a crap shag. <laughs> I'm a virgin, oh shit! Did I work hard, mistress? Well, you got a treat for your labours, didn't you? <laughs> I didn't believe you were 80 at first, till you took your clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's that then, 50? Andred, hurry up. Oh. Can I come again? No, I'm knackered. Piss off. <laughs> <laughs> Piss off. She just made a hundred. Oh, God. <laughs> Can you not do that? That's really unattractive. I've just about had my fill of unattractive people today. Why can't the world be a little more beautiful? Mm, is that too much to ask? It's... Oh, my God. Oh my God, you've done them all. Of course, your handwriting's improved. You're getting the bees the right way round. I enjoyed every minute of it. Oh. And you smell unusually nice. Oh. You don't have to go do any trouble for me, you know. It ain't for you, mush. I'm going out. Well, it's lesbian night at Billy Jean's in the high street. <laughs> I don't care what you say, mate. I know I'm straight. Yeah, fine, whatever. <laughs> you can't wind me up anymore. I am what I am. OK. Well, have a lovely time, then. You great big leather. <laughs> <laughs> he does it to himself, man. Good morning. Oh, morning. Morning! Oh, no! <laughs> I'm tearing up, man. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> I love this show. <laughs> Guys, I love this show, man. This shit is this shit is class, man. Uh, hold on a second, guys. We got to go full screen. We made it last to the last bit, just so you guys can see. There ain't no extra thingamajiggy here. And uh, I had a proper... This was a proper treat, boys and girls. So let's go full screen. <laughs> oh, man. It's hard not to uh, be impressed by this show and, and, and to not have a smile ending uh, on this show. And... And when Linda does that face, I know uh, it, it, that shit just makes me laugh and stuff like that. Uh, uh, that 
<laughs> that morning face that she did. And we, we remember it with the prisoner thing. And God, man. Um, I know a few of you guys had said that, and, and I'll I'll, re I'll say this though: so when this show is done, we're gonna watch the her award um, acceptance and stuff like that. And just by watching this show, it's hard not to think that this lady doesn't deserve an award or anything like that, you know, because her performance uh, just has me in tears, uh, you know. It's so believable. It's so funny. You know, her facial expressions when she's sad and she's crying and she's like, you know, you know, you know, I obviously I, I'm no actor, so I can't do what she does, right? Um, but it's just so damn good, man. Like it just leaves me uh I just really think she's one of the best that we have seen. Uh she really does make me laugh. Um uh, I think one other person that we've seen, um, and again, there's been there's been other uh, characters and stuff like that. One that we've seen that we really really liked as well was uh, Catherine Tate when she plays Nan. And before you know, discovering you know Kathy, uh, you know, I didn't think that you know there's been there's been we've seen some top notch, you know, actresses, uh, you know. Uh, Isa, you know, from Still Game, um, you know, when we had Chewin, we had, Karen, I think it was Karen or Karen uh, uh, Dunbar who was in there and stuff like that. And then we found uh, Nan that you guys suggested. But man, Kathy is, is for me right now, she's blowing it out the water with her performances. And, and I just got to gotta say it enough times and praise it because she is phenomenal right here. So. What blows my mind, what makes me laugh, though, is in the, I think it was about the first episode when she's calling, you know, she said, lesbo, you know what I mean? So all these things, all these jokes that she has done throughout the series on Tom, you know, picking on him, you know what I'm saying, with, you know, his sexuality and all that stuff. If you would have said that I was going to get a shocker of this magnitude on this show, I don't think I would have believed it until I had seen it right now. And it was, uh, I guess you can say, a, a beautiful thing and hilarious for her to wake up <laughs> and then you just see the freaking cab uh, driver, you know, uh, in her bed, uh, you know, pretty much uh, in a bra and shit like that. So... Uh, totally unexpected, uh, but, you know, this is why the show is great. This is why it, it makes me laugh. There's one thing that I'd say, I, uh, you know, obviously, you guys know, I'm, I'm not from, you know, you know, America, right? So, I, if I lived out in the UK, man, I would have loved, loved, loved to watch this show, uh, you know, growing up, man, you know, you know, oh, man, this, this show is epic on so many proportions, man. Tom, seeing Tom being kind of um revolted or disgusted with this guy now that dude i know we've seen him before and i honestly think that he was in a mr bean episode uh uh with, with rowan in, in there um i don't know specifically uh but that phase uh, I, I remember that face so that guy you guys can fill me in on that dude there but um he did a good job man he he played that performance man when my man was you know, farting and, and just being overly disgusting, uh, that where you see Tom just like wanting to get the hell out. My man's had his, his what he had his slippers on or his socks on. Um, he brushed his teeth in the night. Uh, you know, Tom's teeth in the night. Cause he said he had some spam in his, in his teeth, man. You know, he was reading his mail, you know, reading his, uh, his, his, I, I don't know, his journal or whatever, uh, with his planner shit, man, my man's, you know, from, from one night was already acting like, uh, uh, Neville was acting like a married couple, man. And, and that, that guy did a good job. So nice, uh, you know, like new addition, uh, to the episode. I think he played very, uh. Very, you know, very good addition. Again, uh, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, no Suze and, 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 and Jez, but Barrel. <laughs> Yo, Barrel with that, uh, you know, what is it? Like a dominatrix, uh, you know, kind of shit. Uh, 
dominating these dudes and shit like that. You having this dude sit outside. Um, he's in a corner and shit. That was hilarious. We're just just thinking of whipping these guys and 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 uh, we 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 know uh. You know, these there's a lot of different kinks out there. You know, everybody has things that they're into and stuff like that. And I I don't know if if, if it's cold where the guy's being submissive or some shit. Uh, but uh, yeah, they're out they're out there. They're they're definitely out there. Uh, you know, so I guess you know what's crazy is that Lindy uh took advantage of that situation, and that was a very smart thing that she did. But the guy that he said that line about um hey uh yeah i didn't believe that you were 80 years old until i looked <laughs> we seen down there <laughs> that was good her face was like you know son of a bitch man like that's why her performance is uh, you know brings me in tears uh you know uh because it's just good man i i, I want to just keep emphasizing how well i i think that she does so um, that man gets knocked the freak out. Like it feels like at this point, almost every episode. But Linda can hit. She hit that. You know, she hit the uh, Neville, uh, the security guard man, and it was crazy because when you see her approaching cars and shit, I'm like, damn, man, she's doing. You know, it is looking like a you know prostitute hooker, whatever. And uh, you know, we we got the reassurance at the bar, and then you know, pretty much uh, throughout the scene there later. But man, that shit was crazy. Uh, some great lines again i i like the line that the guy did about the 80 years old shit um i love how you know we we see a little bit of craftiness uh you know with with uh linda because man tom man he, i don't know it was 495 or some shit that she had to do my man's only did five man so that was a lot of work to do so props to linda she she showed some some grit uh yeah turbo tongue man uh but her having to, uh, when she was describing bisexual and shit, that shit was hilarious. Uh, gr you know, that shit had me dying. So, um, you know, damn, this, oh, she's just freaking great, man. I could go on and on. But uh, good episode, a lot of freaking laughs, you know, crazy scene barrel in, that, in the outfit there, right there. Um, you know, she comes in. And in, in, in small instances there, but man, it, it's very powerful uh, when she's she's in the uh, show. So I love that about Beryl. You know, she quickly makes an influence on, on an episode. She makes it better for me too when I see her. Um, that is one person that I always want to see uh, on the show as much as we can. I don't miss uh, Jez or Suze that much and shit like that. Uh, I'm okay if they're not in an episode. Uh, but Beryl, I, 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 the more we see her, you know, thumbs up from me. So, uh, but yeah, Linda, you know, uh, Kathy Berg, she she takes the cake, man. She really is uh, exceptional. So uh, I look forward to when we do see the uh, acceptance speech. We, we've said it before, but just in case, we're going to watch it uh, after the series and stuff like that. Um, because it makes more sense uh, uh, to see uh, a show realize how great someone is and then see the award that that you know that they deserve uh so um that's what we're going to be doing so don't don't worry guys i haven't forgotten hopefully you guys are enjoying it this is a laugh a minute um i didn't think they could top uh i don't even know how the hell they're going to top this episode because it's it, it progressively you know um i know i said i really like the prisoner episode and i really like this one now so we got two right now uh really uh standouts for me on, on series two uh man i just don't know how they can top this thing because this was crazy so uh i don't think that i can get her face out uh, that morning face that she did <laughs> there's no way now i'm getting it out um out this thing that shit is like uh <laughs> perfectly like stored in my brain uh so uh whenever i need a laughter and stuff like that i'll, I'll i'm always going to be thinking about this gimme gimme show right now because it is uh providing a fantastic amount of, of joy and i can see why you know there's been a group uh that you know uh, you know that everyone's been enjoying the show so i'm just happy knowing at least one person is smiling one person is laughing um on my journey and stuff and uh, you know 
it blows my mind sometimes and um, i'm always very appreciative and i as cheesy as this will sound i don't expect anyone to to watch uh uh, you know, me on my journey, um, you know, I go in with the thought that it's just going to be me. I, I know it sounds very stupid, but, uh, that's how we go. So it impresses it, it. Um, even if there's one person out there that's enjoying, I feel 10 times thousands of, of joy. So if you are enjoying the content, hit that like, uh, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a beat. Um, Thank you. You know, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I really am a, loving the show, loving the characters. Uh, I think that knowing some of these characters, uh, you know, like James Dreyfus, uh, when we watched them in Thin Blue Line, haven't seen Kevin and, and Perry go large. It is on the channel. Uh, you know, that's one of our instances uh, watching Kathy Berg, which she just that she she put me on on the radar there and then you know it's kind of started some of that journey there and uh that's how that's how it goes it only takes one good performance to just be like kind of hooked on uh you know on on actor or actress so you know they've done a hell of a hell of a good job so uh enough of my shit thank you all see you soon peace